for thy presence is from everlasting to everlasting, and we stand in awe and worship of thee. Amen. As we stand in that very presence that was in that bush that burned and was not consumed. Lord, we stand in thy presence this evening. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, our hearts are quickened by the warmth of thy presence. Lord, we love thee tonight. Lord, in the depth of our being, we cry out for that enlargement and that capacity, Lord, that will lift us from everything that is earthly and carnal up into the eternal. And Lord, we believe for that releasing into eternal truth, into that quality of life that issues forth only from Thee. Hallelujah. Lord, we confess and we acknowledge our love this evening. And we reach out, Lord, with hungry hearts. Hallelujah. Lord, that we may be fed and edified. That we may be filled with that which is birthed of Thee. Lord, that Your purposes may be wrought out in this people. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, we sense even a greater anticipation in you than even in us for a people that would respond and hear what you long to say and to accomplish in our lives. If only, Lord, we could place ourselves totally at thy disposal. But, Lord, we love thee. We love your dealings, your workings, and your hand upon our lives. We encourage thee, Lord, to work. Lord, we believe for this meeting, both tonight and in the days to come. Lord, that that prophetic unction, hallelujah, that anointing that will release thy word, that will release that substance that you would impart into our being, that eternal quality of faith to produce, hallelujah, that which pertaineth to your purposes. Lord, release us in this hour. Release this people, Lord, that we may hear. Hallelujah. Lord, for that anointing upon each and every one, that we may hear from thee that which you would speak in this hour. Lord, many of us have come with specific needs with a specific cry and a burden upon our heart. Lord, we're believing for satisfaction that can only come from Thee for each and every one, that we may go forth rejoicing that it's been good to have been in the house of the Lord. Thank You, Lord. Thank You, Jesus. Thank You, Lord. Amen. Now, Lord, guide us through this service. And Lord, we lift up Jesus and we glorify thy name. That which you're speaking and that which you're accomplishing and doing in each of our lives this Amen. evening. Lord, we lift that up and we hold it before thee as the most precious and the most wonderful possession that we have. That hunger and desire that's birthed of thee. Release it, Lord in each of our lives and enable us to walk it out to fullness. We thank you. Now, Lord, guide us through Jesus. Amen and amen. 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 Brother Sexton, come on. Share it. Amen. It's real good. Brother Sexton is from Aberdeen in South Dakota and he's been with us. He's about 1,500 miles or so from home, but he's at home. Amen. We're praying with our brother and his wife. And it's just wonderful to have Brother Sexton with us. I want us all just to get to know him a little better. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was thinking of this wonderful salvation that God has given us, not only in the initial sense of the word, when we are completely delivered, the power of sin is canceled in our life, or as Paul says, we are translated out of the kingdom of darkness, that is, ignorance about God, 
and the revelation of the Holy Spirit comes to us, giving us a glorious view of Christ and his saviorhood, and simultaneously he gives us to know how much we need him. I'm thinking of the words of Peter when he said, We are not of them that draw back, but we are of them that believe unto a salvation, the salvation of the soul. The soul is something that God makes quest of. He conquers it gradually. Our salvation is an ongoing thing, and faith must increase. I think of the words uh, where it says, if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved. Saved initially, and continuing to be saved, or continuing to be delivered from the power of darkness, from the fall of nature, through reckoning upon the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise his wonderful name. And victory after victory realized through the mighty salvation that God has secured for us in the Lord. In his death, in his resurrection, in his ascension, where he ever lives to make intercession for the saints. Glory be to God. So brother was mentioning that Doubtlessly, there are people here who are conscious of those things in their life that has not been subdued, areas that have not been conquered. And uh, so we're in these meetings to experience uh, a salvation to the uttermost. God ferreting out in us, revealing to us those things that have grieved him, those things that have restricted the work of the Spirit in our lives so that we are completely, more and more, uh, uh, released to serve him. And uh, all of this by faith. It's necessary, of course, that we should believe with our heart. Believing is prerequisite to faith. Believing is not faith. Believing is your part. God gives the faith. It's when we draw nigh to God in communion, and when we wait, before God in his word that suddenly faith comes by hearing and hearing by that word by which God speaks to us and gives us an indomitable witness within ourselves. Nothing can frighten us then when God gives faith when the rima comes to us then we know that God within has sustained us and will take us through and grant us that great salvation that he's given to us. We're so thankful for the privilege of being here uh, um, in your midst with these gathering brethren from different places. And uh, oh, we're much blessed uh, in the worship of the young people here. And uh, we're refreshed. Uh, I remember years ago when I uh, preached to the black people in my youth, I ministered to them a good bit, and I remember a remark that they made in their testimonies often. They said, he brought me from a long ways off. And so it is. We've come from a long ways, 2,000 miles, to be here. And I just had to have fellowship with people of like faith, people who shared this vision, and uh, so come we did, and how happy we are to be here and to feel the concord and the witness of the Spirit with yours. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Blessed be his name. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our Lord is faithful. <laughs> Praise God. It's wonderful that... Brother Sexton from about 2,000 miles away, brethren from Australia, a lot further away, and yet speaking as a single word, amen, the word of God coming forth by the Spirit. You know, it's sort of like a, a ra the radio station that's on the air. It's there all the time. All you have to do is tune to that particular frequency, and if we all tune to that frequency, we all hear the same thing wherever we are because it's in the air. 
Amen. The Holy Spirit is speaking. The Lord is speaking. He has a message. He has a word for this day. And if we tune in on the right frequency, we're all going to hear the same thing. Amen. That same station we're going to hear. And that's the miracle, the realities, the confirmation that this is God. Hallelujah. So many people, diverse backgrounds, cultures, bringing ups, religious backgrounds, and yet all speaking the beautiful word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. 